this is Delay W Podcast. I'm your host, Saint. I got my co-host here, Seven. What's up, y'all? Y'all ready to party? Jesus Christ. We got the panel here, Coconut. What's up? Kiki the Don. Yes, sir. And our editor, he'll be back. Um, Warwolf. He's getting some food. He's not sharing with the podcast, but it's all right. He likes to meet all to himself. <laughs> so, Seven, you know, we're talking about, like, bad dates and just cringe moments and stuff. Yeah, cringe moments that you've had with a crush or someone you're on a date with or anything like that. We had to expand the topic from bad dates because some of these boys apparently have had zero bad dates. These niggas must be Michael Jordan or something, man, because they don't miss. Or, or they don't take any shots. Oh. Nah, I'm kidding. I can't say that about them. Or can we? I, if you want. They're not even trying to defend themselves. They're just like, okay. We'll take the abuse. I mean, I miss can't 100% say much, of the bro. shots you don't take. It all changed when a Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> So should you tell the story first, or do you want to save that one for last? I could start with mine. It's like not the cringiest or or anything like that, but it goes back all the way down to high school. Um, we'll say we'll call her A. We'll call her A. So when I was in high school, I was always an introvert, and then during Spanish class, that's when you see like all the popular kids do the stupid shit. And a couple of them were always like, they see me just, you know, doing, doing whatever, listening to music, or I'm just doing. Touching yourself in the back of the class. Nah, bro. Nah. I don't do that in that class. Oh, see, si, uh, it's Espanol. Oh, God. But um, they've noticed that uh, apparently Papi? when I was hanging out with A sometimes, they could tell that I have a crush on her. Uh, doing so they came up to me and they started like, is it heckling? Like they're bothering you the entire time. That's not heckling, right? No, that's not heckling. I mean, heckling is more than when you're giving a performance, but well, they're okay, harassing so, you. Well, yeah, we'll say they're, yeah, they're just harassing me trying to say like, Hey, so do you like a blah, blah, blah. They started, they started, you know, shoving me like, Hey bro, go get her, go get her. I'm just like, bro, we're in high school the fuck am i gonna do um but next uh but the next day i'm walking around met up with a and she was acting weird weird and then instantly she started shoving me away and avoiding me and i found out why they sent they gave her a letter with my name on it saying that i like you i want to do this i will i want you to like do all like sexual shit with me and it was from the popular kids. And I was like, why the fuck did you give that to her? And they started laughing. It was just very cringy because when I actually started talking to her, I was basically called perverted. Uh, and then she got her group to call me perverted in front of a bunch of people in the hallway. And so for me, I'm just like, what the fuck did I do? Oh my but God. I don't, I don't know if you want to call that the cringiest moment, but that was definitely something that I remembered. Dude, that's just fucked up. Like, yeah, and these guys are the popular kids, you know, the one that everybody praises. What now, grade was this in? I think this was like sophomore or junior year. But the funny part is, those popular kids are actually dead now. So all of them? He, uh, the the those two popular kids that were always like harassing me in the uh, in Spanish class. Oh, you took care of it. Okay. No. Allegedly. But there was rumors about how they were actually, like, affiliated with something else. But other what, than a that, gang? That's a different story. Probably. I don't know. But they're white. <laughs> I don't understand how that works. I but, mean, um, the mafia's white. I they're all Italian. Yeah, you're not <laughs> wrong. But, like, I guess karma's a bitch. I, but you took that shit laying down? You didn't, like, confront them or anything? Bro, it's fucking high school. <laughs> I mean, so, like, I wouldn't take that shit lying down. The thing is, no, like, once that happened, you know, A and I, our friendship relationship just broke. 
because everybody ignored me. Everybody blocked me. Every time I tried to talk to them about it, they didn't want to hear me at all. And then the two popular kids, you know, they knew about it. They always laughed. And then Spanish class was probably the most, like, they looked at me every single day so as fuck. that creepy kid. And I'm just like, wow. You didn't, like, try standing up for yourself or anything? Oh, I did. But my voice wasn't as, how you say, didn't have enough weight to go Ironic. get everybody else. Ironic, right? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, Coconut. We love you for who you are. I know. Hell yeah, we're the we're the straightest, gayest motherfuckers out there. Yeah, I'm completely know. comfortable with my sexuality. I don't know about you guys, but oh, dude, I am too. I'm chilling. Oh, we know. But I'm just saying, it's like, bro. To me, I feel like that's the cringiest part, or I, I think that's cringy. I mean, that's just horrible. Oh yeah, it was very bad. Like I would have fought those motherfuckers. I would wanted to. But the thing is, I thought to myself, like, bro, we're in high school. Okay, After... that means you can get away with it. You, you're not going to go to jail for beating them up. If you, you know, if you do that when you after you, yeah, you will. See, that there's not as many consequences when you're a minor. But the problem is that I wasn't taking those, like, how do you say the, uh, all the harassment. I just didn't really care because in my mind, I'm just like, all right, like, what is this going to do to me in the future? nothing nothing it did nothing to change whatever because i was always the quiet kid even though uh after like three months almost the end of the semester they kind of just forgot about all that however except a's group you know but yeah so. I, I mean like for me like i wouldn't care if the girls you know don't you know want to fuck with me anymore or anything fact like i i can't i wouldn't it was stupid, like, but I was like... Yeah, that's, like, so immature. Like, even in, like, sophomore, junior year, you're, like, letters set, sending them to people. Like, it's so stupid. And, bro, we're just kids, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, like even, and the girl sounds pretty... The girl sounds pretty stupid, too. Well, yeah, of course. But, like, you know, it kind of sucks that once they hear one thing, they kind of just don't want you to talk like they don't want you to explain yourself they just they're very tunneled vision on what they hear you know so i was like I mean, how am i supposed to explain to you but he can't even let me up you know like, it, like I, don't, I don't i don't understand the thought process behind it because to me if i got a letter with all that shit and it says from someone that you know i've been like friends with and stuff like i would be highly skeptical. I would look at it and be like, I've known this person, you know, I talk to them on like a daily basis. What they actually do something like this. And I would like, wait, is this their handwriting? You know, like there's just so many other ways this could have gone down if this girl wasn't so fucking stupid. But I think what happened was also part of her group were like instigators, I would say. Like they would always up in a bad guy, even though I have anything or nor really did anything because i was never part of social media but they had like all this shit on like apparently when snapchat was coming out there was no uh snapchat group chat you know what i mean yeah yeah so you can find any evidence back then because nobody would screenshot it they would just talk about it and it just instantly deletes like yeah. see the letter yourself the letter um i've seen it once because it was taken it was a picture uh from a friend of mine and you know he tried to but then they also made him a bad guy so i was like all right this is pretty gay i don't know what happened to him afterwards but it mostly it's like like talking that i want to do a lot of sexual stuff with her and that I was able, that I have, how you say, like, I'm willing to do all this for you. Uh, let's go somewhere. Let's do this. And it's just most of the, like, just a lot of sexual stuff. And I, apparently that matches my description. I was like, all right, bro. 
Whatever. I mean, if you really wanted, you could have, like, taken it to, like, the administration and be like, look, look at this slander. This is sexual harassment. Oh, uh, well, back then yeah. I wasn't thinking. I didn't. I didn't have enough, and I thought to myself, it's like, this is whatever. Like, I didn't, to me, I didn't care as much because, you know, I just, in my mind, I was like, all right, whatever, that's cool, high schoolers. If, if I was in high school with you, I wouldn't have let you take that shit lying down. We would have gone and confronted them. If I had the power of what I have today, I feel like things would have changed. Yeah, they wouldn't dare talk shit like that about you. Not anymore. Then you would snap them in two. That is true. They were pretty skinny. Part the only thing they had on them were, were just abs. You would randomly flash them in class. The teacher's not there. And the girl's like touching on them like, what the f***? That's very cringy, right? Yeah, that's that, That's cringe. cringy. It's like this these two the dudes school, would just... Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this okay, is a white school. Well, I was just like, what the fuck's going on? I, I, I don't know. Oh, man. That... High school was a weird time. That's so... It's, it's just so super... I feel like if you go to those... Uh, for some reason, I feel like it's white schools that kind of do that a lot. Not going to lie. There's a lot of stories that goes around class, that school. Especially for the students. But, I, I mean, I bet other schools have a fair share. Yeah, I'll say that's my cringiest moment. That's my story. That's like less cringe and just more like that gets me fucking mad. I want to go find these two pe- guys, but you know they're already dead, like you said. So, what about you, Kiki? Cringe, I guess I say it would have to be this girl that I liked in the eighth grade and basically my freshman year. And Saint know who it is. You know, like the whole experience from start to finish type shit. And basically, it's like the restroom incident. Nah, it's just nah, nah, no. It's not the restroom. Rest, not the restroom incident, but just the whole, just the whole, it's just the whole experience, experience as a whole. So basically, like I guess we'll just call her S. We'll just we'll just call her S type shit. So yeah, like and she was like, you know, she. She was she was pretty. She was kind of a little just just what well, she was kind of a little thick. Just 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 a little just just Don't a little like bit. That. Just a little. <laughs> At first, it was all good, but I want to say the cringiness started. I want to say like personally, me like the cringiness started like you know in eighth grade, y'all have a little eighth grade dance type shit. So basically, like you. Yeah, you know, everybody, everybody was telling me, bro, you, you should like, you should ask for type shit. Like, I'm like, if like literally every, like, wait, I'm involved with this story. Yeah. Hmm. You are involved with it. Because me and we'll say my homie, uh, Q. Yeah. We'll just we'll call him Q. We actually were chilling, chilling like she passed by and we're like, oh, are you going to the eighth grade the dance whatever and we're like she was like oh yeah i wanted a uh, kiki to actually ask me and we told kiki that kiki t- tell the people what you said to us i was all like i don't know i think she's gonna say no and all this it was on this is it was on some real cringe bitch ass shit. Long story short, bro. This nigga thought we were lying. I, I generally thought, I generally thought everybody was lying because, like, it just, I don't know. Like, I, like, don't get me wrong. Me and SV was cool. But we wasn't on, no, I like, wasn't on no, oh, we got each other's numbers. We texting each other type shit. Cool. Like, that makes sense. Like, it was on some line type shit. So I, to me personally speaking. I thought like, oh, these niggas is these niggas lying, bro. I mean, it was there is a high possibility that it could be lying to you just to fuck with you. Nah, fam. Y'all wouldn't do that. Not a That's... situation like that. I wouldn't let my dog go out there as a girl out to no dance. 
knowing damn well <laughs> she wouldn't she would say no. Like, okay, fair enough. Like, <laughs> yeah, one job. You could have been right there with the Latina, but you fucked it all up. You fucked it all up. I did, but now we back to the Ebony's. I'll live here. <laughs> you got to tell the restaurant story, though, bro. All right, bro. I am very So basically... The- you, you need to confirm this. Basically, from, okay, because, okay, so I'm going to tell you pretty much two instances of the rest of the story, because there's technically, there's technically two, and Saint was one for, Saint was there for the second one, basically. All right. So, the first version of the story was like, okay, so, basically, when we was at the dance and everything, everybody was having a good time, and every, everybody was having a good time or whatever, and like, look, everybody, the shit, the shit was live, I was like, I saw, like, I I saw Saint and Fresh, my my home, our other friend, Purple Coast. He, he went to the long out there. He got, he, he got there. He was really fresh did. too. That shit was you went to the long school. How? <laughs> <laughs> so what? okay, so, so the <gasps> eighth grade dance at the summer camp we worked at. Oh really? Yeah, but huh. his pops put in dress. Oh no! And he showed up to the different church basically. Oh my! He was all having a good time, and I guess I don't. I, and I guess afterwards and everything, because I I honestly heard I honestly heard this from Saint because Saint had asked me this like upfront type type thing, and I guess he like I guess there was some something going on like oh because he didn't get to go with S, he was real hurt, and I guess I was crying in the bathroom. I don't recall because I don't recall myself going into the bathroom at least for that particular instance. Now for the second one, what well, pretty much happened it was the last day of school and you know the last day of school you all go you know you go to like you know there's a second eighth grade dance but you know this one you go to like the high school or whatever. So for this one basically everyone was like yeah bro like it was like yeah yeah bro you might as well just just everyone's pretty much saying yeah bro you might as well just Make your means of S and call make your means of S man and just call it a day. So this dude Saint was pretty much like he was trying to like not not forcibly push me, but like, you know, push on some like, yeah, bro, you got this dog type of, you know, like encourage encouragement push. But me, I'm like, no, nah, man, I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with type of type stuff. So yeah. No. Nah, fam, so that one I'm trying to push him over there. You know like Johnny Bravo? Like, no, 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 no. And he, like, he has his feet stop him. That, that's what that man did. So, like, later in that day, I'm chilling with my girl at the time. We're, like, all at a table with the homeboys and stuff. I just keep getting people coming up to me, like, bro, you got to go to the restroom, man. This nigga Kiki, man. He, he over there crying. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and it wasn't like, oh, one person was telling me. It was like, most of the people were telling me this shit. I'm like, bro, y'all lying. I had to ask this man. He over there all teary eye and shit. Why was you crying in the restroom, dog? But the thing is, though, like, I I generally do not remember myself going into, like, our high school bathroom, well, our future high school bathroom, let me rephrase that, and, and shedding tears. Like, I'm not going to sit up here and lie. Like, say I wasn't getting teary-eyed. Yes, that part, I'll, that part, all out in the open to a friend. Yeah, I, I, was, I was getting teary-eyed. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you say I wasn't, but the whole me shedding t- actual shedding tears part, I, I don't, I, I genuinely don't remember me doing that. Like, like I said, I don't know if that was just like something that, like, maybe they just thought I was doing that. Maybe they just, maybe because like I went to the bathroom and I came out maybe a little just teary eyed. Cause honestly, what I'm thinking is, cause honestly, cause what I'm thinking is, I wasn't just, I wasn't really shedding tears. My contact was irritating the motherfucker. And you know how the and sure. You, oh, that cover man, up. No, nah, cause them contacts back in the day, them man, mm-hmm. no nah, man. That's nah. his alibi. Mm-hmm. Cause them contacts back in the day. Contacts a little too tight. Yeah. What? Like I, said, <laughs> I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna sit up here and say like, oh, I wasn't sitting up here just teary eyed. Uh, yeah, I'll I, I I will admit that. But the tears part, if there were tears, it means it wasn't from the whole situation. It was legitly from my context. You gonna stand on that? Whatever you say, Kiki. <laughs> Whatever you say. No judgment here. 
feel like there. Well, since we are I feel like there, talking about me. there is some judgment here. You just don't want to say it. And that's that's okay. Oh, I'm judging. That's, un- that's understandable. But... I'm open with my judgment. So if I, if I judge you, I'll let you know. <gasps> I'll just run one like cringe like story. So I'm gonna say this nigga's <clears throat> last name. My boy came. You know, I, I didn't know about this, like, further in. But him, a couple other homies, we all had to be at the table. I think Kiki, was Kiki there? Nah, Kiki wasn't there that lunch. But at lunchtime, you know, it's, it's a bunch of niggas cracking jokes and shit. Touching each other? A little bit, <laughs> but that's besides the point. Um, We all chilling, and there was always this Asian girl that, uh, was at the, I mean, you know what? I won't tell the backstory of it. Purple Ghost can defend himself on this. But yeah. there's another story that involves some Ben 10 watches and some, some bitch assness. If he ever comes on, we'll talk about watches. it. Okay. And it involves was it in school or high school? It was in high school. And it involved like another girl My and her home girl. Like the <laughs> <laughs> her, her other home girl. We'll call her Ling Ling. No racial. But. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> I thought Ling Ling was a little cute, so. Ling Ling? You could just call her Lisa. Wanted, uh, no. no, we're going with Ling Ling because that's what Saint wanted to go with. We're just going to go with Ling Ling. So, the <laughs> Ling Ling, I was like, oh, she's kind of cute. Let me go ahead and hit her up, you know what I mean? So, I, I, I shot my shot because, you know, I was in ROTC and we were having like a military ball. She, she said yes, you know, and all that. And I didn't know that, like, weeks Oh, yes, in, I really like the black guy. I didn't know <laughs> until later on that that was Kang's uh, cousin. I'm like, oh. But it's, like, different sides of the family, and he he kind of was like, yeah, she she really ain't shit. He yeah. should, like, back off from that. Like, it's not going to end well. And keep in mind, he's an RTC, too, and he's my boy. That nigga was right. So... You didn't listen? No. Oh, well, that makes sense. This is, my, this is my fault. I mean, you don't really listen to us, so. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep on going. So, of course, we didn't drive because this was like our freshman year. I think freshman or so. No, it was freshman year. Mm-hmm. And, oh, you know what? I'm leaving a really key part. She was, she was my backup plan. Because originally, I wanted to take out my crush. And that didn't go well, bro. She said yes, right? But then, like a week later, she she was like, "Oh no, I'm going with someone else." Fuck. Uh, I feel that I I I can relate to that. What was already like kind of like really a red flag was you know we were freshmen, we didn't have no cars or whatever, but not thinking about it. I'm not gonna say his name, but we'll call him a. Uh, Mr. Funky. So Mr. <laughs> Funky, he uh, he drove. And now thinking about it, we were way too young. He didn't have no license, but that <laughs> we got there. But we didn't uh, pick up a uh, Ling Ling. She was like, "Oh, I'm going with my friend, right?" Should have known at that moment. Kind of found out, guys. She was gay. She mm. was gay. Mm. Wow. So Why did she say yes to you? Just to fuck with you? Uh, she couldn't say no. You, you know what the kicker is, bro? She went just just to get the free ticket. Oh. Man, surely ain't shit. So she was gay. Gay. Which I'm cool with that, but I'm like, damn, you could have just told me that. Like, she really shit. just used you. Yeah, I, I, know the feeling. I know the feeling. You used me for land development. <laughs> <laughs> what? But I mean, as far as like other dates and stuff, like, say this one was recent. Like this was like um, last year. That shit was bad. Like it was bad, but it wasn't that bad. Go to the movies, you know, a tender date, whatever. This girl, like, she kind of was like, you know, like how you see those memes and like. Like the women's always like talking throughout the movie. 
That was her. Yes. Then what like made it worse, like she had knocked out, bruh. And she started like snoring. God. What the movie, movie were y'all going to go see? What movie was y'all seeing for her to just fall the fuck to sleep like that? King Kong. I, I I don't I don't remember what movie it was. Or, bro, but. I I he this is a last year experience, not some shit that happened in two thousand five. You never know. Three runs. Yeah, I think that's probably like the only other like bad experience. Or oh, the catfish. Ooh. I told y'all about the catfish. Say it again. War Room knows about it. Kiki yeah, knows gotta, about it. You gotta tell our audience now. Devin knows about it. So, was this one girl Tinder date? This is when I just like started Tinder. Man, that was probably like the the worst. Dad was funny. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> she had like an Instagram. But she didn't really like post any pictures, you know what I mean? And that's your big red flag right there. It, it was already a red flag, and we never like FaceTime. Keep in mind, I'm not, I'm not the type of person that likes to FaceTime. It's two strikes. So it was already like two oh, strikes. You know, I'm not doing this. You got to do that, Bucko. And then three, what made it worse was like, instead, like, I was like, oh, what's going on after date? She was like, oh, Nah, let's go to my job, uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. I was just like, okay, like, I don't want to do that, but I mean, I guess. Aye. There's free food. Aye. Aye. So, on a date, bro. Like, she ain't with nothing like her, like, profile picture. I don't, I don't mean this in the meanest way, but she had, like, some linebacker shoulders. Like, if you ever seen my, Michael Jackson's, like, old... Um, <laughs> His, his old like performances and he had like the little uh, jacket or whatever added Pads. shoulders yep. that was her shoulders like she she looked like one of those um what's the correct term I don't want to seem like an asshole I'm probably asking like, for this you gotta um, go in for it go in for the kill players. no like uh you know how there's like those white white families and like their daughters like Tomboy type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She was like that, bro. Like full on, like. And she's from like Cleveland, so. So she looked manly. It, it was definitely. Well, 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 it was because I, I know a tomboy, but I mean, she, she, she looked like a girl. Good. But you're talking about yeah. some wide shoulders. I think you were yeah. talking to a man. Are you sure this wasn't Last of Us too? Oh God, Abby. No, it wasn't even like. It wasn't like an Abby. Uh... Minus the shoulders, it wasn't Abby, right? No, nah, it wasn't. Minus like, the muscles. It wasn't even like um, like uh, China from like WWE. Like, she's attracted to me, but the girl, the Tinder date was not that. That oh. was like some. Like a three out of ten. Like, I don't mean to say this, like, but. Like trailer trash type shit. Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I mean, like, it's someone's kink. No, nah, it, it was bad, bro. And she didn't smell good either. Oh, so she's it, out, it, man. Fuck it. Yeah, that's just, like, bad all around. Yeah. We had the food and stuff. Okay. The drink so was the, ass. It's like the wild wings. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Oh, and then what made it worse is then, like, she was like, oh. She was like, oh, uh, did I tell you, like, I sell, too? I'm going to say allegedly. Sells, uh, we'll say some granary with her ex. So she was a drug dealer, too, allegedly. So, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, allegedly. Should have got some, you know, free herb. Allegedly. Nah, fam. I'm good off that. <laughs> it probably wouldn't even... It probably smell like Buffalo Wild Wings. I mean, if it tasted like it, that'd be kind of cool. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, War Wolf, you had some crazy tender day too, didn't you? Yeah, around uh, <laughs> December, January. 
that was funny. I'm not gonna lie to you. Man, that was a weird case because I've already told uh, Kiki the, the 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 red flag details when she was asking. This is two weeks of us talking, right? Two weeks. This is a Tinder date, by the way. But two weeks later, she started asking these random questions, and they seemed pretty normal until she asked me. Uh, do you like hotels? I'm like, what the fuck type of question is that? Do I like hotels? And I literally had to <laughs> fucking decipher. Like, I have never in my life had to fucking Google shit to understand how this fucking person speaks to me. And like, it was so cryptic. I'm like, what, what do you mean hotels? I even asked you. Like, that cryptic? I that is cryptic as fuck. Do you like hotels? <laughs> Who the fuck? She like, was trying to fuck? That's what it seemed like. And that's what me, that's what me and our other friend literally told you. And it's like, not a bad thing. It, if that's what you want, <laughs> it's not a bad thing. But if that's not what you wanted, then yeah, I didn't see that until like I like cut tires with her. I'm like who, like who likes, who would like a hotel? Do you like hotels? Like what? Whoa, what do you like wait, me like? Wait to like, wait to, to point out though, y'all never like met or anything. Well, like, yeah, I met her. Is... Oh, you met her? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. <laughs> Like literally, I said when you when you told me that, and I literally told you a friend, "Oh, she's honestly just trying to fuck." Yeah, that seems. I kind of, I fuck. yeah, I kind of deflected that, and you know, continued on with the conversation. So we finally meet up, and she's my height, by the way, about six foot. Oh wow, she's very tall. Very tall. And basketball. Oh, that that's not an athlete right there. I can tell you that. And if if what if if that if she I was, I'm about to say if that was if she was an athlete, <laughs> she would probably play baseball or something, softball. Give me back my baseball. Was she white? She's black. Oh. Uh, my dad gave a, a a name for that type of like physique. She was tall, chubby, but it's not like fucking round everywhere is like there's like a figure it's not like an hourglass figure or anything it was just the the, the term that my dad uses is stout stouty like a stout look i don't know y'all can see what a stout woman looks like yep yep stout but six foot tall yeah <laughs> a big woman but she's tall like right at my height level so we go to this park like a mini date, I guess. You went on a meet and greet. That's we it. yeah, we went on a meet and greet, and she started doing these like playful fucking mannerisms on me. I'm like, I was like weirded out, but I kind of like liked it. She, she like like fucking clawing my arm with her long nails and stuff. I'm like, what are you doing? But I, I, I I didn't like say. Like a good time. What do you mean? I mean, but I, I never, I never said like stop. I was like, okay, you know, I kind of let it, <laughs> let it continue. <laughs> well, I never said stop, so you know. I... So that was the one weird factor uh, about her. Then we, we kept talking for like uh, another month, and she put like this vibe out where she was looking for a boyfriend. But wasn't into that like friendship build. Like she was, it felt like I was being rushed to like this person, which uh, uh, it, it literally kind of. I, I would, yeah, I would, I would say it like freaked me out. Like I was kind of like, what the rushed f or entanglement? Nah, like rushed, like rushed to like, rushed to get a boyfriend. Like I need a boyfriend in a month. Like that sort of fucking speed. It's like hold up, I barely know you. I barely I'm desperate. Yeah, I be I don't even like. I need to know what you like, what you hate. You know, I need to know all these specific information beforehand, so that when the problem comes, when we're together, didn't get to know. Wait, so y'all y'all didn't get to know each other. We didn't before or anything like that. But she had this like want to date or love me. I'm like, I don't even know you. We're not we're not even like good friends yet. She just wanted to fill a hole in her life. That's what it seemed like, because during the time... Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a good point you just brought up. During the time we were talking, she was going back and forth with her ex. 
and she would he, she would tell oh, me so what you're he gonna was be like doing. A then. Uh, probably. Would, thank God I cut that shit with a fucking axe. I don't talk to her anymore, whatsoever. Yeah, I would have got out of there as soon as possible. I I even had to consult with the elder gods, Jalen. The elder the gods. gods. <laughs> I had to consult with the elder gods. It was it was it was a mess, man. That was the most stressful. That I, that was like fucking Brock Lesnar Suplex City stress. It was terrible. I had to cut that shit. I can I can even still the still feel the effects of that stress. Like holy crap. So that's my cringe date scenario story. I mean, that, were you attracted yeah. to her at all, or that just like completely just? I would say, man. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if it's mad, then I would just wouldn't waste my time. So I guess I'm the only one left. Tell us your shitty story. Okay. The infamous haunted. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'll let you. It is a little bit personal for this person, and I don't want to put them on a spot or anything. Um. All right, I think I got it. So this was. Two, three years ago, some, something like that. No, it was three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. This, I, I, I don't know. Where should I start? Okay, well, let's just start at the beginning. Yeah. yeah, so three years ago, I'm chilling at a friend's house, and I get a weird text. It's like, ugh. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Onion. We're, we're gonna call her Onion. <laughs> and you know, I was wondering if uh, you wanted to talk is or hang he out. That bad? I, I mean, I'll tell you guys later why I'm calling her Onion. But oh, if gosh. I tell you now, then I'll expose her real name. I don't want to do that. But yeah, so I get this weird text. I'm like, okay, whatever. I, I kind of just ignore it. And then when I get home, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll respond to it. And I'm like, oh yes, I remember, I remember you. We we met a couple times. She's like, yeah. Um, I just want to know if, if you wanted to, you know, talk or something. I'm like, how'd you get my number in the first place? I remember giving it. to you. It's like, oh yeah, your your friend Michael uh, gave it to me. I'm like, god damn it, Michael, why are you giving out my number to people? And so I'm like, okay, I'll deal with Michael later, but let's deal with the issue at hand. So I'm like, oh okay, what what's going on? It's like, oh you know, I'm in uh, Houston and I just. Wanted someone to talk to you because I don't really know any anyone here besides you know you guys, and by you guys it's my martial arts class. And I'm like okay, I'm I guess you know if you want to talk like I'm not doing anything. Later, like probably the morning after, I get a call from my master, and it's like his uh, niece. It's uh, Onion. Yeah, his, his niece is Onion, and uh, they're they're having some like a family emergency in Houston, and that's why she was here. And I don't want to go into too much detail about it, but it was it was pretty bad. And I'm like, okay, you know, talk to her just to help her get through it. You know, I'll, I'll be nice. <laughs> Apparently, the one time I decide to be nice, it goes horribly wrong. Oh gosh. I, yeah. So she was in a pretty vulnerable state, I would say. Oh, God. And I, I just wanted to, like, uh, you know, try to be there for her, like, you know, just kind of make her feel better. And she went, and so we were talking for a couple of days, and she's just, like, telling me about, you know, problems and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, you know, blah, 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 whatever, I'm trying to be a good person. And she's like, oh, uh, you know, I've been stuck stuck here for a while do you think uh we could go hang out or something i'm like oh okay yeah sure you know i'll i'll, th I'll throw you a bone and not that way <laughs> <laughs> throw you a bone and chew on it yeah but you know i'll be like okay you know i'll i'll, I'll do you to solid and you know I'll, I'll take you out we can get line hang out or something i didn't really see this as a date or anything i thought I was, we were just gonna go hang out Couldn't be. Really? had a very different view on this. She thought it was going to be a full-on date with some guy she's just been talking to for like a week and a half. 
And so I go and pick her up, and we go eat. Uh, I forgot what restaurant it was, but it was somewhere in Chinatown. And we're just sitting there talking. She's, you know, we're kind of talking a little bit about it. And I thought it was just going to be a normal, pleasant, like, lunch with, with a friend. Hell fucking no. She decides to unload all of her emotions and problems on me. You were at the dump, bro. At a restaurant? I, at a restaurant. A public restaurant. She starts talking about, like, her, like, past relationship issues with her ex being abusive. Uh, how uh, the school she was going to, they were, like, just super fucked up. Like, okay, I'm okay with, with that. And, like, with the ex, like, okay, I can kind of understand but not with as much detail as she was giving me. And here's the kicker. Unprompted, we weren't talking about anything related to this at all. She was just like, oh, you know, I've, I had a miscarriage. I'm like, yep, I put you. my chopsticks down. I'm like, huh? I, I, I thought I mis- misheard her. I'm like, uh, uh, could you say it again? I, I didn't really catch that. She's like, oh, you know, it's, I just had a miscarriage before. I'm like, oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. And, you know, I'm just trying to play it off, but in the back of my head, I'm like, why the fuck are you telling me this? I barely know you. And even if this was a date, I don't think this is something you tell, you know, someone on your first date. Uh, this is, and this, keep in this, mind... This is something you tell a year later. Yeah, like, keep in mind, like, I did not think this was a date, but she obviously did. You thought wrong, Jimbo. I, I I really did, and this is this is the first and biggest red flag, for sure. Like I should have, like dropped all contact like after that. But I decided, you know, maybe she, you know she was like being very emotional you know, with everything she's going through. So, you know, maybe she just let it slip or something. So I I kind of blow it off and try to have a normal you conversation. Blew it off for it. <sighs> uh, no. No. Um, yeah. And she just like goes into like some details about about it. What happened and more stuff about her piece of X and stuff like that. I'm just like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let me get the bill. You know, I, I go pay and <laughs> I, we leave. And I think I took her to the gallery or something so we can go walk around. And I happened to walk by my. Uh, aunt store she works in a Prada there she's a man she sees me she's like oh oh hey and I'm like oh yeah this you know I introduced my aunt and, and onion together she's like okay you know I'm like yeah we gotta get going way I get a text from my aunt she's like is that your girlfriend I'm like no all caps she's like oh okay I, I like I like never see you walk around with a girl or anything I'm like yeah it's it's a tough situation I'll explain to you later <laughs> so I, I take her back, and uh, that night she texts me, she's like, oh, you know, I had a really great time. Thanks for taking me out and stuff. I feel like, you know, I've really gotten to know you. Um, no, I've gotten to know you. We spent most of that time talking about all the We didn't talk about what I was going through. Plus, you know, this is more for you than it is for me, so whatever. I was just trying to be nice, and I thought that was going to be the end of it. Nope couple days later it's like two o'clock in the morning and my phone just starts going off like crazy i'm like what the hell i look at it i'm like onion i'm like okay whatever i'm just gonna i'm not gonna pick it up i'm tired then i i I get a text from her she's like don't pick up the phone i'm like what don't pick up the phone why you keep on calling me so she eventually she i pick it up because i was getting really fucking annoyed about how many times my phone was going off (laughs) And and she's like slurring the words like uh the seven, I really love you. Boop, hang up. Yeah, I'm just going to act like I didn't hear that. And I go back to sleep. Uh, next morning, I see a bunch of messages from her. She's like, why'd you pick up the phone, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I picked up the phone because you kept on fucking calling me. I didn't want you to call me. God. And she's like, did you hear what I told you? Nope, I did not hear anything. Of course, I was lying. She's like, okay, that, that that's good. Uh, and she kind of 
like didn't talk to me for the rest of that day. I'm like, oh thank God, it's finally over. I want you to let you know she was not drunk. Okay, no, yeah, she... yeah, 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 yeah. I was getting, I was getting like three different like um thoughts <laughs> for something <laughs> like that. I got like three different thoughts. Good, uh, continue. Okay, and so I'm like, okay, it's you know, it's over. Like we're we're back to normal. She's just just gonna like talk every now and then, like normal friends. Whoop. Uh, she keeps on like sending me like ob- very obvious messages that. She's like, oh, you know, I've never had someone uh, sp- spend like this much time listening to my problems. You know, I, I, I really uh, was looking for a guy like you or something. And I'm, I'm trying to be as dense as possible. Like I can see all these dumb. I, I pretend so like have I have one part one more time. Yeah, cut out. So, after seeing all these signals, like it's very obvious that she likes me. And I just play dumb. I'm like, yeah, no, I, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm here for you, you know. I'm playing, trying to be very stupid about it, because I didn't want to approach the issue. Until finally, like after a week of this shit, I was getting tired of it. You know, this has to stop. Like, I gotta tell her, I'm not into her, even though it might break her heart, and she might go like crazy and like hunt me down or something. Which was very plausible, because she knew where I lived, and her uncle was my martial arts master, so, you know, if she said that I did anything bad to her, you know, I'm dead. Like, my my master will come and, like, like punch me in the chest and blow my lungs out, you know, type shit like that. But I'm like, you know, enough is enough. I just gotta be up front with her. And she finally, like, says, you know... You're really bad at reading reading signals. I'm like, oh, really? Been trying to tell you that I like you. You know, that's why I called you that day, and I didn't want you to pick up because I'm embarrassed. I'm like, oh, um, yeah. She was and, embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, she was embarrassed about telling me that you know she liked me, and I'm like, uh, okay. I this is where I pussied out. I'm like, you know, let me get back to you on that. Let me let me see if I'm ready for a relationship. <laughs> and she's like, okay, you know. Uh, and, like, for a day, she didn't, like, text me or anything. I'm just like, fuck, like, how do I break it to her? <laughs> you know, like, I, I remember, like, asking around, like, my uh, my uh, friends are girls. I'm like, you know, what should I do? And they're all like, you got to tell her that you don't like her. I'm like, yeah, but, you know, with everything that's going on, like, look, you got you just got to break it to her, you know? It's better to... Be honest and not lead her on. I'm like, okay, you're you're right. And you know, she calls me. And she texts me. And she's like, so what did you decide? I'm like, you know, I I'm like, okay, look, I'm very flattered, and I understand what you're going through, but I I'm just not ready for a relationship. End of story. She's like, okay, you know, uh, it it was really hard for me to like tell you that I liked you, but. You know, I'm glad that you gave me a straightforward. And you would think it would end there. But no, it fucking doesn't. Because she kept crushing on me for the next, like, six, seven months. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, yep, I, I eventually, I, like that. I told uh, my martial arts buddies about what was Like, hey, man, you better watch out. You know, next time we're up there in Dallas, you know, night at her place, you, you got to watch your back, make sure nothing that night and i'm like fuck you're right you know she she is kind of crazy she she might pull something like that <laughs> and i I'm, i told saint and coconut this story and they, they agreed they're like yeah man you never know what's gonna happen next time you're up in dallas and lo and behold six months later i'm up there in dallas and we were like training with the other martial arts school there and we had to spend a night at her place uh, very, very awkward. And it just got worse because there was this one uh, technique we were doing where we had to, like, partner up. And you know me, I'm, all, I'm only, like, five dude. And this technique, you need to be partnered up with someone, like, similar height. And she, she was the only one that I could practice with. So I, I had to stand there with her, like, arms, like, wrapped around her and shit. 
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just like, oh god, please let let this sign in. And I look over all my all the other dudes like laughing. They know that, you know, she has a crush on me. Like even the dudes in her crush on me. Fuck. Sounds like some anime drama. It really, it really was. Like because she was she was like, oh my god, you're so dense like anime producer. Her words, not mine. Oh, like, wow. Oh. And then, like, at the end of the practice, this is around Christmas time, uh, we're about to leave, and I hear my, I hear her, like, say my name. I, just, I feel something, like, hit me in the shoulder. I'm like, what the f-? It's like a little gift bag. And she's like, this is for you. And she, like, kind of, like, runs, runs off. I'm like, what is this, fucking middle school? Like, if you want to give me a gift, you know, you can just give it to me. You don't have to, like, throw it at me. I just got like a flashback. Yeah, but and that was the end of it because she eventually has a boyfriend. Got a boyfriend. I think she's still with him. You know, I'm I'm happy out of her whole uh, emotional situation and moved. I would hope that she moved on. At least she moved on from me, which I'm very glad. So, yeah, this this version of the story is uh, very doctored down, a little bit watered down because there's a lot of like backstory to it, but personal uh of her and i don't want to you know put that on on the public to hear you know that's like her uh, her stuff but yeah and uh we another nickname we had for her because she told us about the she told me about the miscarriage and it's not something you tell someone on the on the first meeting like that Oh my! Yeah. I bet she was wanting like more of a of a a simp. Uh, what do you call it? Not a simp, but sympathetic uh, type of really like start to a relationship. You know? Yeah, but like you don't just unload that on to someone. Like you know, like you gotta like, that feel for time. it. Like that takes time to tell somebody, man. Seven. I got. I I probably like like initiation, not initiation, but like introduction of like some girl that has some like backstory problem you 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 got the uh the, the verbal story i had a similar situation but this shit was a fucking novel presented to me printed <laughs> out and stapled my mother was uh, my mother was the first one to, uh, like see this i didn't know what it was i didn't understand it i just it you know mailbox or something this is my backpack Oh my, my mother God. was looking through it. It's found this. Because oh I didn't read it. I didn't read it at all. I don't even know what the fuck was going on. And my parents... Well, I had to go down to my mom's room. But my parents were there. <laughs> and they had to give me a huge talk. I'm like, oh, oh my. my. Then I started seeing, like, what they were talking about th- throughout middle school. I'm like, oh, my gosh. This person has a serious problem. There, they, <laughs> there were my parents said back then more advanced than you <laughs> <laughs> it was i don't even have the paper anymore she, she was the type of person that would send me like one page love letters or admiration lover letters that will be sent to my locker it was like that Did type you of girl have an actual conversation with this girl or was it just all handwritten letters uh yeah i talked to her but my god I'm glad, or she, 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 uh, she, uh, attempted to date me back in what year was this? I think this was eighth grade. I think all this started in eighth grade. Then it trans, it It trans, like you getting a pen pal. (laughs) (laughs) Then it transitioned to ninth grade. I had to tell her, would you fucking stop? And that was the end of it. Now, now, now she's, has a child. (laughs) Probably married. I don't know. Like sexual harassment, though. I mean, were, were the letters sexual in nature, or did no, 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 no? These were like lo- these were love letters, love letters. Um, like kind of uh, stalkery. No, I, I didn't feel uh-huh. stalked. It's more like she, she, she admired me because there were like things that she, she liked about me that she would write down. That is, and we would talk in person, weird. but she would put these notes. Or have have her friends fucking hand deliver me these notes. That's a real middle school shit for sure. And they're written markers. <laughs> oh no. Huh? 
What's her sign or like, like birth month? Her what? What does that have What's to do with her zodiac sign? I think like he's trying to I don't know. She's white and she's a redhead. Oh well, that, <laughs> oh well, that was all. Those were two. That was a red. Was she at least pretty? Hmm. Okay, yeah, to me, you know. nah, no. If you think about it, then that's a no. That's a no. I I would give it an average score, <laughs> five out of ten. Look, is so, it enough for you to get a nut off of? That's she she was a she was a she was Butterface. Uh, oh. That's not good. Did you? Why didn't you just tell her to stop? Like, did you uh, see like the letters? Like, hey man, like. I was intrigued by her. Oh. Oh. Okay. You're like, oh, this is interesting. Let's see how this plays out. Right? And I fucking cut it off a year later. <laughs> I kind of had the same feeling, like, you know, let's just see where this goes. You know, it was summer. I didn't have anything else to do. Summertime, it's something like that. Probably should have just cut it off. You know, right here. then and there. Y'all out, here using, y'all out here using these people because y'all bored. Before we even close this out, you just reminded me of a fuckhead story, man. This was fifth grade. Oh, gosh. What y'all doing in fifth grade? I remember I had this crush on this Latina. Y'all, y'all know I love Latinas. We know. <laughs> oh, um, Asian boys. I was too bitch ass, you know. Excuse me. Nani? Nani? You heard? Anyways, I, I was too bitch ass, and I was bitch ass. So I, I wasn't three wrong. times. As we all. Fifth grade, I was bitch ass. Four. But I had a home girl. She didn't care about that shit. She wrote a letter to her saying it was for me. Ooh. Wow. This is like the last day of fifth grade, like last week. We're Very having like a, a party. Woman. She dropped it off. And what was embarrassing, we're all like at a table. I didn't know about this shit. And <laughs> imagine if you're your crush, your teacher's right there. Like all basically all the girls were right there, basically. And she didn't like me at all. And she was pissed about it. She was like, What the fuck is this? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> like I had to play it off. Cause I'm oh, like no. I was hurt a little bit inside, you know. I'm not gonna lie, I probably cried in the car on the way home. But bitch. Mm-mm. He's fifth grade, so that little fun, bitch. Though. Did did your homegirl apologize for that, putting you on a spot? Hell no, she didn't apologize for that. <laughs> she thought that shit was funny. Had me looking goofy and shit. Gangster. Oh yeah. It's like, look, if you're not gonna do anything, I'll do it for you. Basically, she had bigger I mean, balls than you did. You gotta give uh-huh. her some type of credit for doing that, though. Hell yeah. no, that was fucked. <laughs> Still your homegirl. Hell no. <laughs> rip, rip friendship. That shit died. <laughs> that shit was dead after that. <laughs> oh man, that reminds me of something too. I, I tried doing that. Um, I think this was eighth grade. Yeah. Uh, this Good involved life. my my buddy B Rav. I think yeah, Sonic was was there for it too. So. This girl, I I liked her since like sixth grade all the way through senior year. So I I had a really big crush on this girl, and like, uh, I think at this point I was kind of like, oh, you know, I don't think it's ever going to go anywhere. I might as well stuff. I think this was around yeah our eighth grade dance, and I knew that she had a crush on my my buddy B Rab. And I'm like, hey, you know, maybe I'm like, look, maybe it'll help you out. You know, get see if it can set you two up to go to dance together. And she's like, no, don't do that. You know, that's that's like weird. I'm like, come on, man. You know, because I'm your I'm your friend and whatnot. You know, this kind of hurt me too. I'm like, kind of cucking myself at this point. Yeah, this sounds like some cuck behavior, Bucko. Yeah, but the way it played out, it, it really was. So we. All like all the dudes in our class convinced, well, not really convinced. We uh, we like forced him to ask like a whole list of girls 
to the eighth grade dance and see which ones would say yes to. And in the middle of writing this list, I put my crush's name on there. And we and we and B Rab at this point, he was he didn't really have much of a spine like he does now. And he went around during homeroom <laughs> and went up to like all the girls on the list and asked them like, Oh, will you go to the eighth grade dance with me? A bunch of me were laughing and like, no, no, you know. It's kept pretty pretty embarrassing for him, I would say. And when it got to uh, my crush, I thought she would say yes. You know, and you know, be be happy and stuff. But she also said no. I'm like, what the hell? And she, tech or she comes and talks to me after that. Seven, what the hell was that? I'm like, what? You know, guys up. She's like, I don't want him to ask me. You know, because of a dare. I'm like, okay, mm. I I think I, I I get your point. If you said yes, he would have gone. You, he would have gone with you. Like he would, there would have been no problem there. And she's like, you know, she was like mad at me for like a whole week. For... I'm gonna get that though, because that's not like him genuinely wanting to go. That's yeah, I, yeah. I mean, that was most, that was on me, but I like try to cut myself, which was kind of funny. <laughs> I was like, you know, it's her happiness that matters, not mine. Type of bullshit, you know. Your stupid, testicles stupid right shit. in your stomach. Pretty much. I mean, I think they were still in my stomach. I, I was like, nah. Nah. But I, yeah, I dodged a bullet with that. I have so many cringe stories, like, involving her, but <laughs> we'll get to that some other time. Yeah, that's going to be on season two. Yes. Well, I think tonight was a good episode. Um. Y'all can't see, but Coconut had his mouth wide open um, for a glizzy because he's a glizzy gladiator. Uh, no, nah, dude. Oh, that, my. That's seven, oh. bro. Did you not see what he did to his mic? No, nah, we, we didn't see that. But this was a oh, good my. episode. Um, Seven, do you have any uh, closing announcements for our viewers? Let's do it. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment. Tell us which one of these stories was your Maybe if you guys had any stories that were pretty cringe or bad date or relationship. And remember, we have our Patreon linked in the description. And if we have enough likes, enough views, subscribers, we'll post Coconut's nudes on there for everyone to see. Yes, and sir. We, we have a couple more that you can unlock by going up to tier list. <laughs> Good there. God, Coconut. Oh my God. <laughs> even I don't even know. These are nudes too. Are they fucking data mining your phone? <laughs> I don't even. The fact that this nigga phone. said high quality. Hey, Y'all are taking it. Nineteen twenty. Y'all are taking it without my knowledge, bro. Hey man, that's why we made you get that webcam. Jesus <laughs> Christ. But remember, we're also on Spotify, Anchor. Yes, so check us out on there. And try to get the word out. You know, we're we're still. A little bit low on subscribers, but for the ones that are subscribed, we thank you for sticking with us. Uh, you guys are the reason why we're able to make funny content. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace. Peace. Yes, sir. I can't, Daddy. Okay.